Dear friends in Christ, we welcome you to this Lenten devotion of the Stations of the Cross. May it be a time of quiet reflection and prayerful meditation. Let us pray. O merciful Saviour, grant that while we follow the blessed footsteps along this way of sorrow, our hearts may be so touched with true contrition that you may turn our weeping into gladness by giving us remission of all our sins. Amen. And we offer this devotion to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The multitude departs. A broken and wounded child is placed in the arms of a mourning mother. A sword of grief pierces her soul. The beloved disciple, the holy women, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, none can stem the tears of Jesus' most loving mother. So bitter is her grief. It is sometimes easy to forget the human drama that lies at the heart of the passion. For us, Jesus is Lord and Savior, whose death secured the salvation of all humanity. For Mary, she holds in her arms the brutalized body of her son. This is the same son who would have nursed and slept upon her bosom. In the arms that once lifted and comforted him, her son, now dead, rests. What must have been the fierce grief of Mary? The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has altered the ways in which we offer comfort to the grieving. We hear the heart-wrenching stories of persons dying alone, families unable to have moments of closure, whether at the time of death or due to delayed or altered funeral arrangements. Even those who have not died due to the coronavirus are still being impacted because we can no longer gather as a community as the holy women were able to gather around Mary. Our Lord Jesus taught us, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. As we reflect on Mary's grief, may all who mourn find peace and comfort. And following the example of our Lord, who comforted Martha and Mary in their distress, may we be agents of hope and consolation to all. May we find new ways to gather around all those who grieve, even if we must do so while maintaining a physical distance. For no distance, no disease, shall stop us from comforting those who mourn, for being that source of hope and joy. O oh God, we love thee with our whole hearts and above all things, and are heartily sorry that we have offended thee. May we never offend thee any more. O oh, may we love thee without ceasing, and make it our delight to do in all things thy most holy will. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the souls of the faithful, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. My brothers and sisters, we pray that this devotion has been a blessing to you. Please continue to join with the parish families of St. George and St. Augustine as we journey with Christ through the Stations of the Cross.